I've got a question that I'm going to ask all you Man United fans out there, whether you live in the UK or around the world. Will we win the league under Mourinho? I don't think we will. I've said that before. And I stand by that. But if we did, then Manoan Fellaini would have his first ever Premier League winner's medal. Like, wouldn't that be great? Fellaini going out on a high by winning a league title. That would shut a lot of people up. I used to be a fan of Mourinho. But I didn't like it when he bullied that physio. It was ban out of order. And I think the Mourinho fanboys conveniently forget. He went back to Chelsea as the happy one. He left us almost getting Chelsea relegated one. He would have got Chelsea relegated if he stayed there any longer. The players weren't playing for him. Fans don't like that term being used, but that's what happened. And the alarming thing was, Mourinho, after they lost 2-1 against Leicester City, said, I don't know how to turn this around. When a manager says that, you know he's finished. That was the moment Mourinho lost all his credibility. We should have got him in to replace Sykes Ferguson. That's when he was still on the high and not on a downward spiral as he is now. He said in one of the Sunday papers that he was always going to go back to Chelsea because it was his spiritual home. So, who knows if he was offered the job or not. We won two trophies last season. Yes, two, not three. I get really annoyed when our fans count the Community Shield. It's virtually a pre-season friendly. A curtain raiser, if you like, ahead of the new Barclays Premier League season. It's the equivalent of Arsenal winning the Emirates Cup. And that cretin who is managing us for half a season, we beat Wigan 2 0. Again, shows how unimportant the Community Shield is. Since Mourinho has been in England, He always likes to win the first piece of silverware on offer. He doesn't devalue the League Cup like Brendan Klopp at the bleeps. So he deserves a lot of credit for that. I think he's virtually won it every other year. Fantastic record he's got in that competition. And I like winning the League Cup. It's nothing to be sniffed at. When we win it back in 06, that was the catalyst for the next season to win in the Barclays Premier League. But we did have Sykes Ferguson in charge and not Mourinho. So I don't think winning the League Cup is going to be have any bearing on us winning the league. 
this coming season. We won the Europa League. The fans were saying, we want to win this because we've never won it before. Don't give me that. Whether you want to believe that or not, the fact is, you only wanted to win the Europa League because it guaranteed entry into next season's Champions League. If it didn't have Champions League, at the end of it, you wouldn't be interested one iota about winning it. And I said, I didn't want to have to rely on the backdoor entry to get back into the European Cup. Like a pot of gold at the end of a rainbow. If you believe in that sort of thing. At the time of this recording, Slatan Ibrahimovic is still at the club and doesn't leave till the end of this current month. If we can't win the league with Slatan Ibrahimovic up top, how are we going to do that with a striker that's not going to be as good? Slatan scored 28 goals last season. I don't think the new striker is going to get anywhere near that. Slatan got 17 in the league alone. So the new striker will have to get, let's say, 18, 19, 20. Harry Kane, who was at, who was at Spurs, he's won the golden boot for the last two seasons. And Tottenham didn't win the league. So, what would Harry Kane be like if he joined a club that will win the Barclays Premier League? And I know most United fans are going, oh, Slatan leaving. It's good news for Rashford and all that. You will come to realise that Slatan Ibrahimovic will be a big big miss. You may not realise that now, but eventually you will come to that conclusion. And the only criticism I could have of Slatan Ibrahimovic would be his goals put a sixth. Aguero's goals put Manchester City third. Costa's goals for Chelsea won them the Barclays Premier League with virtually the same squad that Mourinho left. And Chelsea finished over 20 points ahead of us, which is embarrassing. Absolutely embarrassing, considering the amount of money we've spent. Chelsea didn't spend the same amount of money as we did. Would have been even further down the table if it wasn't for Slatan's goals. Yeah, he missed a few chances, but you're not going to score every time you have a chance. The goalkeeper's not going to go, you're going to score past me. I'll allow you to score past me and every single attempt you have on target. Pep Guardiola... so far in England has had the Indian sign over Mourinho just like he did in Spain and I think that will continue taking my Man United hat off I think Man City will win the league because of Pep Guardiola and if I do get criticism for saying that a former Man United player who's well respected. He said, even though we will win the leagues under Sykes Ferguson, whoever finishes ahead of Chelsea will win the league. And I can say that about Man City because I don't consider them our rivals. It will always be the bleeps who will be our official rivals.
I don't like Mourinho's antics anymore, but in the frame of balance, I loved it when he was first at Chelsea and he described Arsene Wenger as a voyeur. He watches people. That, for me, will go down as one of the greatest ever footballing quotes of all time. That was, for me, what Mourinho was was about. And I'll always be grateful when he stopped the bleeps from winning the Barclays Premier League. It's a shuddering thought, isn't it? If they did win the league, we, as Man United fans, wouldn't have heard the end of it. If that happened, I would have emigrated. So I'll be always grateful for Mourinho for stopping them from winning their first league title in over 20 years. We have to bring in the right players and get the right players out. We can't afford to keep throwing money at the problem because it hasn't helped us in terms of the league, has it? But there will be loads of Mourinho fanboys going, yeah, we'll win the league under him. That's your prerogative. But I just don't see that happening. So that's that's it, I think. I've had my say. I want to hear what you think. Am I wrong in suggesting that Mourinho's finished? Do you think he still has it in him to win a league title? Or do you agree with me that he's finished, he's on a downward spiral, and that doesn't matter what he does, in terms of the league, for Man United, it's not going to result in us winning it. So feel free to comment down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.